The Golden Goose. In the wood, there was a dwarf. One day, a woodcutter came. The dwarf asked for some food. Would you share some of your food with me? No way! Snapped the woodcutter. The next day, a farmer came. The dwarf asked for some food. Would you please share some of your food? Why? I'm hungry. And it won't be enough for me if I share it with you, said the stingy farmer. The day after, a sawyer came. The dwarf asked for some food. The generous sawyer gladly shared some of his meal. Would you share your food with me? asked the dwarf. Sure, it's not much, but better than nothing, right? He said kindly. The dwarf whispered something to the sawyer. I have a secret. Chop the tree by the lake over there. You find a reward for your kindness. Thank you. The sawyer said thank you to the dwarf. To his amazement, he saw a magnificent golden goose inside that tree. I've never seen such a beautiful thing like this. The sawyer went to the market, bought some things and paid it with a golden feather from the golden goose. The seller saw the golden goose and said, I've never seen such a beautiful thing like this. I want to take some of these golden feathers, he said. But when he touched the golden goose, his hand stuck on it. An old man came, saw the golden goose and said, I've never seen such a beautiful thing like this. I want to take some of these golden feathers too, he said. But when he touched the golden goose, his hand stuck on it too. Then there were the third, the fourth villagers came, tried to touch the golden goose and stuck their hand. The golden goose saw the sawyer and tried to follow him, and so all the people who got stuck. The king, who never laughed for ages, saw this and said, I've never seen such amusing things like this. He laughed out loud. I'll invite you to the kingdom's feast, said the king merrily. Let all the villagers that stuck be in the face to your majesty. I'll pay with the golden feathers. The sawyer replied generously. By his nice words, the golden goose was released and flew to the sawyer. All the stuck villagers were tumbling down. The king laughed even louder and said, Then the kingdom is your place. The End